What is the final match of today's play? I've got to be honest, I think this is going to be a very interesting game. I really do. I think if John Parrott can play somewhere near the John Parrott of old, certainly that's the style of play that Igor plays. He likes to go for his shots. And wasn't he proud walking down them steps? Also with it being at the Crucible, makes it that little bit extra special. And this boy can play if you've never heard of him from home. He can play the game, he's, he's had a one match away from qualifying. He does hit the ball like John Parrott very, very well. John's obviously got a very straight cue action in days gone by. They are both confident players. And John, is, as I'm sure you've seen on TV, will have been busy at the World Qualifiers and the World Finals professional. That's a good shot from Ego. Pretty tied up. It will go in the one pocket, but it does reduce the chances when it only goes in one side. A peak of his powers, Tony Drago, especially with that wave of dark hair. Yeah, it's a good comparison. So, still relatively new to the game of snooker, but... John's just trying to come off two cushions and land on the, the one at the bottom. That was a very good shot. Couple of gremlins in the system. We're not leaving this one early. John again, one cushion this time, just trying to drop on that red and the black reel. Mm. And you straight away well, by the expression on John's face there. You quite it hit it hard oh. enough. I do believe he's done it again. Foul. I think John knew the moment he, he hit it. Oh. Ten shots, twenty shots, wherever it takes. He won't lose the frame on a three miss rule or anything. And he's doing it again. He's Foul. actually frightened of hitting this too hard he because he does right not oh. want to push that red along the rail. Foul and a miss. How long are we on air? I know we'll have time to talk about him this evening as the next couple of hours unfolds. That's better. Proud day for him and his family and his country. Yeah, I've been fortunate to spend a bit of time with Igor up at the Q House Academy, and it's a long way to go anyway back to Brazil, but due to the current restrictions. He did get home at Christmas, but um, his flight did get moved back a few times. On Judgment Day, he wasn't a million miles away from getting here. The World Professional Championship. Oh. But how about that? He gets a little reminder from his opponent. He's not shy. And um, like I said, very, very similar player to Igor. As you can see by that shot. On that red just to the left of the black. I think this is going to be a close game, this. John looks up John for it. Hi. I wonder how much nerves will play a factor. Throws the player a little bit off balance. Because as you can see, it's quite a big arena when you're down to one table and really is a privilege. All credit to Jason Francis and his team. Well that black being tied up has just slowed things up a little bit and stopped the plane flowing. I guess first frame of the match, both because of what you're leaving your opponent. It'll just take the pressure off a touch, allow them to settle into the match a little bit. A 
Again, not taking too many risks. Has left he got. So if you miss it, it brings a red back down the table. The last thing you want is a red going back up with you. That's a great shot. What? Very good opening shot. Eagle saved his status on tour with that great run. Beat Jimmy Robertson. I got UK the champs right. and then lost yeah. out to Joe Perry in the last 64. So it's been a tough season, but at the English Institute of Sport. So he'll, he'll be buoyed up for this. I think they'll be first up as well, midday tomorrow afternoon. I think if I knew I was playing Stephen Hendry in the next round or something, I think I'd lose on purpose. Starting to show a bit of form as well. Oh. Excellent pop there from John. It doesn't appear to pay with a lot of side. Drilling balls in, back of the pocket. So he's trying to line things up a little differently. Eight. But certainly judging by his long potting, he's doing it very well. Rocket World Seniors. So, although that's a that's a difficult situation, he knew running behind all the qualifying tables. It was four tables in blocks on each side of the building, and um, I was going back from a match, 14. terrified I was going to meet an angry John Parrot after my match. But never done that again. It was also a press statin in the winter. And believe me, them holiday sh uh, chalets aren't meant for the, the winter. Very cold they were. What a shot from JP there. Hit and run all the time. And as you can see, he's got to do this with a lot of top. Left hand side, get it down the table. That is a very, very good effort. Very good effort. Don't part. Four. We go best of sevens tomorrow and we're best of nine for the final on Sunday night. Seven o'clock. Plenty of drama to come between now and then, of course. And everybody will have a few weeks off before those aspiring to regain a place on tour gather for Q School. But this officially is the very, very last event. There's no doubt that Snooker's led the way in the sports. Second match on tomorrow afternoon for those wishing to mark a card. Paddy oh, Wallace played nice. really well against Mick Judge. He can Evil. nominate the black but he can't see a safety off it so he's choosing to go up the table and well he's done well. Hitting the green. Now if he'd have missed the green there he would have That's a good shot that from John. Decent get two or three inches off that bark cushion on in any safety shot. Just gives you the upper hand. That's an equally good shot from Igor there. Yeah, very good. And then a bit of pressure on John, you could see, just caught it a little bit thick. Bit of body movement from John, they knew the minute he'd hit it. Again, I don't think both players will mind that. They'll just help them settle. Beautiful shot there from Igor. Took a chance. Knew he was going to leave John in if he missed it, but. Again, very similar style to John Parrott. Eight. Just seems to deliver it so straight.
Whereas you have to get used to these super fine cloths, which is a case of trying to roll things and drop things in. You want to try and justify every day that you're away and trying to maximise his potential, this newfound second part of his career from the age of 32. Good story. Yeah, and of course, he's not got the home comforts that many of the main tour professionals have got. A lot of the guys in the UK certainly will have the favourite TV programmes to watch on the night and certainly a family to go, ho go home to. Of course, he's not got any of that, so it's hard when, we, when I was on the main tour, leaving my family back at home. Not easy to do. Just got to keep slightly down on the white when you play off a cushion. It was a decent effort that and look at you catch the brown on the way back. Thin off the edge. But does not want to be pushing too many balls out here. He's gone for a very, very thin edge there. He doesn't want to be putting any pace into this red at all because if he does, he's going to open the black up. The outcome of this frame is still not determined. Ho! Oh, that'll help. Wow. Because John would have gone for it. John would have certainly attacked the balls and tried to get them open. Yeah, they've done well, these guys, these referees. Of course, led by Leo Scullion. Dare I mention it? He refereed my 147 in the German Masters. I won't talk about that, though, Rob. I'd have had him round for dinner that night. I was that happy. 15. If he gets this colour, John's going to need snookers. So it's just a case of dropping the pink in. Getting enough in front. Or possibly a free ball opportunity while this red's on the table. Here you go, Figueredo. 21. Nice bit of luck. To acknowledge his good fortune. Do you know what, Rob? They're not in bad positions, these, for snookers. I think Igor's going to be aware of that. Can get an opportunity to swing the white around the table. They're in a good place. Igor will know this, which is the shot Igor's just try and played. Sometimes you've just got to try and play a snooker back. Had plenty of time in this intriguing opener. Oh. The 1991 World and UK Champion. But a good frame on the board. His first. Oh, as he goes for this yellow. No. Twelve. Sixteen. Familiar Brazilian flag on the left, representing all the nationalities here. First couple of days has gone really quickly. 27. 12. <laughs> Igor goes in off, it doesn't matter. Excellent finish to the first frame. The Brazilian is on the board, 1-0 against the former champion. Once again, I think the eyes are drawn to a possible Hendry and White clash again. The two guys played last year, and I think the whole country stopped to watch that match. In the second frame, trailing by one here at the Crucible. There's got to be some kind of alliteration. Mm, to be continued. Certainly good signs that he's queuing well. And once again, very attacking shot there. Played that fantastic. Certainly not shy of going through his shots, Igor. So. 
He's just going to be looking for angles off colours all the time. Trying to get the cue ball back down towards the black spot. There's a couple of big shots coming up. Ooh, he's just under hit that touch. Ideally he wanted to be a little bit further down the table. Can play the cover shot with a pack. Should he leave it over the pocket? That's what he should have done. He's hit it a bit he hard. Has he got cover on the no. blue? No he hasn't. Oh. may have just tried to do that let's just get the point yeah I'm not sure with John you had the Come angle there what? the play with a lot of side what? yeah very good once again the ball slamming into the back of the pockets I think that first frame would have really helped to settle him down. Eight. Now, going to open the reds even more here. Yeah, again, well played. It's not quite an orchard of reds, as Dominic Dale has coined the phrase. Maybe right in the first round against Darren Morgan. Oh, Igor. Igor Took your eye off it. 22. It's a mistake. Oh, now this is what Ch John needs. A good starter. What? And for me, John's looking comfortable out there, so I would expect him to score a few here. Igor will be annoyed with himself over that. I agree with you. I, I, I thought it had the potential to, to look like a century. Yeah, he goes effectively done all the hard work for John. Unless it was a bit tight, but if it was, it shouldn't have been the red he should have been going for. If there was any doubt, he should have gone for something else, but a little bit error of judgment, but can soon rectify it with this next shot, because now 16. the pink spot is free. We just wiped its feet there. Just put a little bit more pressure on the, on the, uh, on the pot there, because... Yeah, I said he's looking well out there and he's he's taken these very confidently. It was looking for all the world like a a very big scoring visit. I think John is just gonna try and get the white. Yeah, he's rushed it. Threw a quick one in there, Rob. Not quite okay. dropped. You've just gotta sometimes rely on a little bit of gravity to help it in. But he oh. knew that uh, if he was going to miss it, certainly he was leaving Igor back in and that just amplified the pressure. For the winner, Igor Figueiredo would love to say, can he edge closer? That just opens the other one up into all pockets. It's the right choice. But he, he, knew. he just Four had to feet. pinch a little bit of pocket there. If you know that you're going to miss a ball and gift your opponent a frame winning opportunity, it certainly oh. amplifies the pressure. Realigning himself with his glasses. and John, you threw a quick one in again there. No pause on the back so you, you can see oh, it, Rob. A little bit oh. of pressure. And look, I mean, you know, John Parrott, great world, former world champion. Certainly on the two shots John's missed, as you've seen there, he's played with a pause. He threw quick ones in. Oh. Yes. Superb from the Brazilian. Choosing to go the other way. He's just about got there. Wanting to be a little bit further, but he's on the red. When your cue is straight and as accurate as he is. Equally the same with John Parrott. Seven. It does make you very strong in certain departments of, in the game. A little bit of an angle, so it's naturally just goes across 
looked as though he had an opportunity to conjure a big break and then let John Parrott Don't in. Free. Punish the mistake. That one wriggled in. It was very Roger Moore, that. Now Roger Moore only raised six. one eyebrow, I think. Beautifully done. Two. Igor Figueredo is one away from completing his maiden match at the Crucible with a win over a former champion in a bid to face another in the quarterfinals. Big night for the Brazilian. So far, he's delivering 2 0. Oh, how about that? Absolutely nothing wrong with John Parrott's long game. Igor Figueiredo's nerve has held good, and he deserves his lead. But some of John Parrott's long pots have been great. Sensational safety, sensational long potting. But just the odd little silly one like that is just catching him out. You got playing with a oh. shot that we like to call a drag shot. And halfway travelling down the table, the, the white will slow down. It just helps you get the line of the shot a lot better. Trying to attack him the shot there. Has he got away with it? Oh. Well played, John. That was difficult. Touch too hard, but extra couple of inches very good again he's got to pull another shot out the bag here One pilot. Eight. sometimes things that don't quite go your way and there again there's another one from Igor possibly seeing the winning line I'll see 95% of the two are due Whenever a player's a little bit under pressure, oh. that back pause, which. Dennis putting his cue down for the final time. Good shot from John no. Parrott. That was hugely emotional. Losing that match against Barry Pinches and then coming off and a day or so ago that he would be. 15. Finishing his participation, played in the last minute of the final in 1985 and there was barely a dry eye in the house, myself included, doing the interview. I could barely get the words out, but not with a cue in his hand. <laughs> Certainly not at competitive level. He may have to just go into them. Yeah, he's tried to nudge one on the outside there and he just glanced one on the way through. Ah, that was tough. That was Power. tough. Front seven. Credit to him for taking it on, but that was a tough shot. Now, is Igor Figueredo going to feel the pressure of the impending winning line oh. if he's able to take advantage of this opportunity? Jason Francis, chairman of the World Seniors, that broadcasting deal has been done, so people around South America will have had an opportunity to be watching this, and he'll know that. And everybody connected with them at the academy as well, who no doubt will be watching tonight. No. As much as he can. Doesn't want to be doing anything different. Something. Had a lovely little shot there, just played it with a bit of right hand side, just to give himself a nice angle on the black, just to play. A simple stun shot. Well, if he was in the club at the academy, he'd clear the table here with his eyes closed. Yeah, and of course, there's not many people that can actually say they've played at the Crucible, whether it's professional level or world senior level. And even the, the, some of the players that are not on the professional main tour still do play at a high standard, so... To win this tournament, 
went in front four frames to nil Jimmy had a fantastic comeback so it's no no mean feat here you go Figueredo what? Right, he's going to be a little bit disappointed he didn't finish the match there but red and bottom of the pink yeah. once again wide South American shoulders he was so close this is a big shot this yeah it was a big shot a lot of pressure uh -huh. on it oh he knew that oh. and that again is a, a prize in itself playing such a great ambassador No. Well, that was a beautiful shot there. Got the perfect angle on the blue there, just to keep this simple. Green, that's one of his options. There's the side, just holding the cue ball. 16. So effectively. Nineteen. Superb. I do feel for John Rod. I, I, I do think he's played okay. It's just, I think he's just caught himself out a little bit with the table. We all know how great a player John Parrott is. He showed it in some of the great pots he's played. But Igor, you've got to say, he's taken his chances and taken them well. Great performance by the Brazilian. Samba Snooker indeed. 41. How about what a way to finish. Fantastic performance there.